We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM and coach, Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, go game day, man. I can't. Come on, I got to get on. I got to get on out, you know? Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. Great play by the defense. Results in an interception. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and ten. few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. You can't keep and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. That's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll bring up third and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. He had it for a second there. Third down and three. with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays him in bowling. Third and four. You've got to catch that. Whoa, Mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Uh, Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Well, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. It's nice to see a kicker not cracked under pressure all the time. What kind of kicker are you hanging out with, Bricks? Broken ones. I don't know which guy are. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn, I'm delighted it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse and he just slipped away like 
And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Second down and ten. <laughs> Boom! Third down and, well, good luck. That's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afternoon. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. One for a first down. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork now than me. They're going for two points. And they run it in for two points. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And the defense calls the Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And that'll be second and eight to go. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hey, did your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. <laughs> oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> this guy's a brick should have. Not much there, maybe a yard. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Third down and forever. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Ghost. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Potato 
dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll be second. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with a brutal hit! <laughs> Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. gonna shave a few days off his life and it's first and ten oh the receiver has to make that catch now I put the team in a hole Second down and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Third down and three. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And it's 
first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. He's got a good chiropractor. Third down and three. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Disappointing run, it's even a worse throw. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing. But their team has a chance to respond. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and seven. That pass play nets them seven yards. Plastic bag. Stay the outfit backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Kicking his 
for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chicken. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And that'll bring up second and one. Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. You know, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain, I'm and he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And that's 
that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, what a brutal hit. Second down and nine. If he had getting killed by a chase, he would have his bucket list on him. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Fighting for every yard. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. The defenders want to be just kicked in. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> They don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half and save it for... Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius.
The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. First and two. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And the ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever going to have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. <laughs> Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.